Hey everybody, it's Momentary Flux. Welcome back to Factorio, where we are continuing work on our Minimals factory, which uses Bob's Mods. i uh, just looking over everything here to make sure uh, I haven't missed something. Make sure all of our circuits are working correctly. Alright. Got a list of things to do. The main things I need to do are to make uh, a couple of new outposts. One for copper and one for gold. Um... Before I get running off though, I, I do plan to do some more module technologies in the future. So what I want to do is I wanted to just sort of upgrade these, uh, drop some speed modules in here uh, for faster faster creation. I, I need to get some speed modules in here too. Since we're working on these uh, the various alien science liquids and metals see here I got some stuff in my inventory I can get rid of Let's see what else I want to get rid of I, I think I have too many um, if I just shift click these I can get rid of them I have too many of, of these uh, belts here I do want to keep some of them because I'm gonna be building outposts but I have a bunch of my train if I need some um, I also should probably, if I make a couple more robo ports, I can get rid of those. So let's see here, robo ports are over here. I can only make one. And that's because I can't make the Mark III because of the charging pad. Mm, I think I'm just missing the lithium. Uh, the lithium ion batteries so that's something I should probably keep a stack of in my inventory I'm gonna go ahead and do that might as well keep a stack of the silver the silver ones too silver zinc I don't you know like in uh, electronics I I've never seen any silver zinc batteries or at least I don't know I have I know the lithium ion batteries are or what powers our phones and our laptops and that kind of stuff but I wonder what the deal is with the silver zinc batteries. They sound expensive, so maybe that's that's why we don't see them. I'm not sure. I don't know. <laughs> All right, let's see. What else can I clear out here? Um, I still have some of these Mark V pump jacks, which I might have to drop off somewhere. Uh, okay. If I may, I may beacon this. Taking a look here to see if this might support another. Um, I'm just seeing if we get a, a surplus here of these uh, these science uh, vials. If they if I do, I could put another. I could put another um, alien science lab over here, but I think I don't think it does support. I think it's. Uh, we're just about breaking even. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna let that go. I mean, it's not the... It's not super fast, but it's fast enough because there's so few technologies that really require that. Um, Alright, so let's look at the map. Um, I g I've given this a bit of thought about where I want to do the copper and gold um, outposts. And I think I want to come over here and I want to work on this copper. Uh, one of the reasons why is because um, I kind of already have this area cleared of biters. I'm going to have to do a little more. I'm going to have to run around over here a little bit and clear these guys out. Hang on one moment. Uh, okay, I'm getting these base technologies right now, so I'm going to just keep working on those until I get all of them. So the, yeah, these are uh, creating the, the fluids. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna work on the in if as you can see, there's like one, two, three, four, five copper outposts here. Not that I'm ever gonna need five copper outposts, but I think that the, it makes the most sense that if I just run a little spur uh, off the line over here, I can collect I can collect this copper, and uh, my pollution cloud won't really be terribly worse than it is now. And then with that same sort of thing in mind, I have no biters down here in this area at all. 
So I have a big patch of gold there. It's kind of far from my factory, but I have existing lines in place. My other option was to run this line up here. But the problem I was looking at is that there's biters across the across this um, lake. Uh, and I'm, I'm absolutely positive the the cloud would, would go over there and aggravate the biters on this side of this uh, this uh, uh, landmass over here. But I'm not sure. I feel like I would have to go all the way up and figure out where this connects and to clear them all out. And, uh, and that they, they would constantly be trying to get at me through, like, I'm not sure where they would circle down, but they would probably manage to eventually find their way over to something of mine to, to try to destroy it. So in just in, you know, just in an effort to kind of avoid that, uh, I think I'm just going to go with a little extra distance and go with this this uh, patch down here. Okay, so uh, there's also copper over here, um, which is tempting too, but I think this one's close enough that it's easy. All right, so I'm going to do copper first, and then I'm going to do uh, the gold second. Uh, one of the things I need to do before I go off to make outposts is to grab some more ammo for my laser rifle. And I got the diamond, the diamond, the best uh, laser rifle ammo I can. I have a bunch of flamethrower ammo. I have a bunch of uh, piercing rounds, so I should be good to go. All right, so let's just jump in Farrell, and we'll head. Uh, where do where is the closest? I guess it would be Iron One, or actually Lithia. Well, let's head towards Lithia One, and I'll put it in manual when I'm most of the way there. All right. It's been a while since I made it made an outpost. So lithium one, lithium one. Where are you? I guess it's not. I don't have it uh, in my list here, so we'll just add it. Let's go. So yeah, um, while I'm taking this train ride, I might as well just say I, I've spent the last four or five days, maybe even the last week, really. Um, going in depth with my video settings and trying different things and different softwares and editors and all of this stuff because uh, I was working on a Sniper Elite 4 series and the... Let me drop this in manual here. Hit the brakes. And my, the quality of the video was really bad and I was looking back some of these... Um, the videos here too and when I, you know, when I was moving at you know, transitioning on the map, things would get a little blotchy. So, yeah, anyway, I, I'm going to move this train forward a little bit. Uh, I've done, God, I've played so much Sniper Elite 4. It's my, um, Factorio has been suffering because I've been playing so much Sniper Elite 4 because I've been replaying the, the missions over and over each time with a different setting and comparing the videos and exporting that stuff. And it, and it all takes you know quite a long time to do that stuff so um, I think I've, fi I've finally got it all sorted out and let me, uh, pick my other tech here I finally got it all sorted out that's the important thing and I think in in the the benefit for all that sniper elite play is that I think that the, the video quality here on Factorio is going to be better too and I've also been thinking about um, about new series and what I'm going to do next and I and I still want to I, I there's an achievement I want to get where you finish the game in under eight hours so I'm thinking about doing that and what I want to do there I think is I want to just do a um, do a speed run where I don't I don't talk as I go but I'll go back and I'm going to maybe speed it up to, to three times normal speed and then uh, do some voiceover and, and just sort of describe what's going on and what I'm doing um, I think one of the other YouTubers, Mangled Pork slash Bentham, uh, has done those kinds of series in the past. And I really enjoyed, like, when I first started playing Factorio, I have to give a shout out to, to Bentham because I watched, uh, I watched all his videos and I, I was, uh, you know, it really, like, like, he may not be the most sort of technical player, but he, he's a, he has some really good ideas and, um, and he, he really kind of opened my eyes to like you could sort of role play 
Factorio. You know, he he has his towns, his trains. He get you know, so he was making factories with themes and stuff, and and that was new, and that was um that was impressive, and I I really enjoyed his series, and he's he's kind of a, a cool dude to just sort of listen to. So, um, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do that series, that eight-hour series, which would, if I make them 20, 20 minute videos, there'd be three per hour. So, um, one hour would make one episode, one hour of actual game. So that would, I would burn through that pretty quick. It won't be a long series, but it'll be one that has a definite beginning and end. Uh, oops. So I, I'm looking forward to doing that. That's gonna be, I think that's gonna be fun for me. It's gonna give me a chance to just sit down and just sort of get into the zone and uh, be able to to play without thinking about what I'm do, you know, what I'm saying at the moment. I got to think about what I'm doing all the time, but um, I think it'll give some insight more, a little better because it's tough to play sometimes and focus on what you're uh, what you're doing in the game. Uh, while you're, while you're, while you're narrating, so it's gonna be, it's gonna be kind of cool. I'm looking forward to it. It's gonna be a, a different thing for me. It takes a little longer to produce those videos because you have to um, actually go in and you know do the voiceover and then uh, export those videos and stuff. But that's no big deal. Uh, I, I don't mind doing that. It's kind of, it's an interesting process I haven't done before. And I'm looking forward to doing that. So let's see here. Back that off one. And there we go. I'm gonna drop a couple more signals in here, or at least one. Mm, before I drop the signal, actually, let me make room. I want to put the stop in. I think the stop would be good if I put it about here. I can run the the belt over. All right, Devin Lavoy Trites. Lavoie, Lavoie. Uh, this will be copper two. Okay, get a signal here, just in case uh, two trains come in here, one to turn around or for whatever reason, uh, it's not ever, probably ever going to come into play. But I like to do that anyway. Uh, it could be like if my Farrell train comes over here, and there's another train parked here, at least it'll get off of the main line, uh, and that's why I put those signals there. Uh, okay, let's get uh, let's get some miners in place here after we keep doing our alien science uh, M Miner All right, let's go off to the right with these and I'm going to try to avoid uh, mixing my metals here um, I think if I go here That will be good Yeah, I think in this situation uh, on the left side of this, I'm not going to I'm not going to extend those back. I'm just going to um, leave that patch of, of copper. If I ever need to to go get that for whatever reason, I will come back and I will put more miners in there. But I don't think I am going to ever need that because we are getting um, somewhat close to to launching our first rocket. Um, there is a possibility, of course, that I could continue to make to work on this this campaign. But I, I kind of run out of ideas of what to do um, once once the rockets launched. I kind of feel like I've won. I feel like, uh, the, I mean, there's stuff that I could still do, but I need to basically invent things to do, and I'm not I'm not necessarily the best at doing that. Let me um, let me get the copper two here. We'll ride it. We'll ride the train on over there. It'll go down and turn around down here at the Lithia area. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know what kind of interest there would be in seeing this this um, campaign continue versus starting something different, working uh, maybe try some different mods or just do some vanilla stuff for a while. Uh, I'm not sure, uh, but I definitely want to do the the speed run and try to get that get that uh, that badge. I've got most of the other ones, so I would like to get that. All right, let's see here. So we need some blue belts here. We'll just bring those down. 
And let's get our loading system in place. Yeah, I would be curious to hear what you guys have to say or what you think. Um, <laughs> it's interesting the effect that, that the comments have on me because uh, one person can have an inordinate amount of influence on me if, if only one person comments. So if you do have a, an opinion, uh, please, by all means, leave a comment. Or I basically go with you know what one person says if one person comments. Uh, th there's nothing wrong with that, of course, but uh, yeah, it... Uh, it would be helpful to get sort of a more of a, a consensus than just one person. Okay. Let's go over here. I think we should drop a substation in place. Some mega coverage. Got a mark one of these mark fours. Yeah, it's huge. Okay, so we got everything powered up there. We just need to connect everything. I got a bunch of these purple splitters. So let's put those in there and we'll finish up the belts. And then we can move on to gold. Uh, I don't know. I don't have a cop. Do I have a copper train? I do have a copper train because of yeah. The the one copper outpost that we have right now is really close to the base, but I do have a train doing it. It's probably one of the Mark One trains because I think it might have been the, the first outpost that I made. All right, there we go. Make sure all our inserters are pointed the right way. I've been making those mistakes a lot because I tend to be talking and not really I'm sort of on on uh, autopilot sometimes with with the uh, inserters and stuff okay so we'll figure out the train let's go back to um, base because we're gonna we're gonna be using uh, or going to the other half of the map anyway so I'll go sort out the train situation there um, I did notice that all the parking spots maybe are filled with the exception of one there might be one free parking spot, so I might have to add some more some more parking for the various trains. Or I can retask copper the copper train to go um, go to copper two instead of copper one. I mean one thing I could do, I could extend the logistics network up to copper one and just have the robots carry it down, whatever's left. I'm just gonna have to see. So let's go to copper one and I have it in there yeah it's too late I could just run up there it's really close to base I want to go take a look at it and see what sort of throughput there is and whether or not it's worth making another train or not so let's pop in our our exoskeletons and I will run up there ah, <laughs> if I can avoid hitting pipes on the way All right, let's take a look here. Yeah, so we're really getting we're we're getting down to the to low throughput on the um, on our loading here. We're not even hitting the last box. the The belts are not saturated anymore. Um, how far away am I? Let me pick up a box here. Okay, so the logistics network actually extends to here. So I think if I just put in a Mark IV, a Mark IV RoboPort there, and I hold a box, I can probably just make these uh, passive provider chests and just retask the copper train to go um, to go to copper two, and I think I'll do that. So as soon as that thing, let's see here, let's, where is copper, 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 copper one. All right, so it's unloading. Ah, let's put you in manual. I caught it just in time. So all we have to do really is I think just change the, the destination from copper one to copper two. It has all the other stuff in place. So let's add copper two, time passed. And well, let's just send it on its way and keep an eye on it through one uh, iteration so that we can make sure that our, our tracks are connected, that it loads properly. Uh, I, I always have to do that once for each for each out, outpost I make just to make sure. And even then, sometimes it's, there's still a mistake, but um, it should be fine. 
So this is a Mark II locomotive. So it's pretty fast. Uh, one of these days I could get around to, to upgrading those, but uh, it's kind of low priority. Alright, just watching that. I, I'm curious to see how many, um, how much ore comes back in there. For a long time it was, it was around 6,000 because of the insert bonuses. That was just sort of the maximum you could load into one side, one side loading in 30 seconds. Uh, it looks like uh, it's not going to be maxed here because the boxes are empty. So, uh, yep, we'll, we'll just see how much that is. It's not going to be a, a perfect gauge, but I bet that's quite a lot of ore. Okay, let's pop out of there and it should be pulling into the station in a minute. Wow, look at that. That almost filled up the whole whole cart. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So six lines that are a thousand or two thousand long. So that's twelve thousand ore. Yeah, that's uh that's gonna keep us in business for a long time because the the limit is set to twenty thousand, so the the trains don't even leave unless there's um less than twenty thousand ore. Okay, so that's the last of the alien liquids and metals. And before I get into like making those and stuff, uh, I'm going to have to make the liquids and alloys and whatnot. Um, I'm going to work some more on the module stuff. Now I just upgraded the modules, um, the module labs with speed modules. So let's get started. We'll just work out. I'm just going to go through incrementally and work on each of these until I can get uh, the final numbers probably and then I'm going to work on these raw modules uh, which I may be switching over to. I'm going to do some comparisons to those um, because they don't pollute as much and they don't require as much power. So uh, I don't know. Can I work on the... Let me just look at the requirements here. Let me should work on those. The productivity modules and the speed modules are the ones that I really want and if they don't require anything before them Okay, they do require the fives. Well, let, let's get up to par on all the various... Let's get up to par on these here. What is this one? Okay, that's the um, pollution. It's actually pollution sucking. <laughs> they can pull it out. Um, one of the things, too, is that all of those modules that I've made, the speed modules, the Mark IVs that are populating everything, um, with the raw modules, they require. There's two ways to make them. You can either make them from scratch, is as it were. With oh wow, that's interesting. Those require pollution and stuff too. Um, you can make them with the raw the raw ingredients, or you can make them with productivity modules, and those require productivity module twos. Wow, those require all three different kind of productivity modules, or not productivity, but effectivity and pollution too. Hmm. That's interesting. That means that I would need a production chain for for those kind of modules, which means that I would probably use this instead because I do have the production chains for the circuit boards. Hmm. Anyway, I'll have to look at that in more detail, but I, I do need to get the technology for them. So I'm going to get get those cruising. And I think I might as well just do all of them because I want to do them all anyway and so I'll just get them all up to the, the same level and then just keep going. I'm going to get them to level 5. Alright. So there's that. We got the copper copper sorted out. That's going to take care of copper for a while. I'm going to take a look here. Copper. And we didn't have to add any more parking because we're just reusing the train. It's over 20,000 now so we're good. Alright. So let's go make a gold outpost. So where, where do I want to go here? All right, I want to head towards nickel one and we'll just, we'll stop. And uh, we'll make a spur here and do gold. Let me check the time here. Yeah, I think we got time to do that. Let's head on down to nickel one. Yeah, we're burning through these in a hurry, huh? 
they have pretty low requirements, so th they're going to go quick. Yeah, I've got Mark IV modules in just about everything now, so it'll be good to, to get those to higher level. I was looking at the map, and man, that pollution cloud is some, that's some pretty thick red there. <laughs> All those productivity modules add. Uh-oh. Where? Where? Where is the attack? Hmm. Oh, it looks like coal one might be about to get eaten. Ooh, down here too. Oh, the copper. I, ah. Oh. All right. Time to hit the brakes on this. I know what we're doing for the rest of the episode. <laughs> we're going to go to copper two. And, uh, and clear those bases out. I kind of forgot about that little aspect of the, of the process. So before I go make gold, I need to go go do that because I'm sure that it's being attacked and I didn't leave any defenses there either. Oh, coal. It's coal that's being attacked first. I have a feeling we're going to get multiple attacks. I think coal might have some defenses though. But the copper certainly doesn't. Uh-oh. They're eating my railroad tracks. No. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I kind of knew that. I, I knew that was going to happen. I just... Uh, kind of spaced it. Although I didn't know coal was going to get attacked. We we'll probably do a little clearing up there too. This is when I wish I had one of those Mark Mark 3 trains. Now they're eating the belts. It lo looks like they're just nibbling. There must be a couple guys up there. Our evolution's getting pretty high. We're over 80% now, so we're going to really get some tougher enemies. Right, let's drop this in manual here. Start slowing down. Ah, I'm stuck on that pond. Did I get him? <laughs> I don't. I didn't even fire a shot. I wonder what happened there. Well, it's kind of funny. He maybe he was just doing a little outpost cleanup because he was eating the ones that. Um, <laughs> he was eating the <laughs> the mining drills that were already that were no longer needed <laughs> anyway uh, I think I'm out of repair packs let's make a few yeah there we go get that repaired up all right I can just leave my let's pull the train um, back a little bit so I can turn it around go to coal one We'll park there for a minute and go do a little, uh, a little biter bashing. It was weird. I was hitting the space bar to make my um, laser rifle fire, but it wasn't firing. I don't know why. Let's see here. Um, let's get over to the flamethrower. This is desert. There shouldn't be a bunch of trees anywhere to light on fire. Oh, jeez. A lot of, uh, a lot of worms. Okay, we'll get up to number five here. Make sure everything seems to be continuing to go. Oh, I, I don't have a requirement. I need, um, I need these to be level five and the other ones too. So let's do those. Watch my shield there. So I eat it. For those guys to croak. Wait for the fires to die out. <laughs> Once again, it's it's nighttime and I'm fighting biters, so nobody can see what I'm doing. Um, there is a mod. I I I don't know. There's there's one that makes things brighter. There, it's called more light or something like that. I don't. I can't remember. And I and I remember thinking about getting that mod at the beginning of this uh, series, but I was I just like, oh, I kind of want to be a purist as much as I can be with, with you know, dozens of other mods, but uh, I didn't get it. I kind of regret it now. I think I'll get it for my next um, my next series. Although, you can't get the... Hang on a sec.
giant fiery biter. Yeah, what I was trying to say there, it's so loud when I'm fighting these biters that I, I just choose not to talk when I'm and try to talk over that. Um, there's a th that mod that, that makes light uh, makes it more light outside. For any other series other than what I do in vanilla when I'm going for uh, an achievement, I'll use that from now on. Um, but I can't use it in the vanilla one to get a, the achievement because you can't have any mods active for it to be for you to get credit. So I won't be using it there, but I definitely will for other uh, in other instances. Let's see here. Um, should I do a little more clearing? I guess I could get these two bases here. I'm looking at the the extent of my cloud. This is just because of my flamethrower. So yeah, I think just those two bases, and then I'll I'll go go back to copper two because it's probably going to be attacked any moment now. Oh wow! Look at that worm, giant worm. I should probably work on a better um, fusion reactors uh, too because um, I can't sort of my exoskeletons don't work and while my shield is recharging so my speed drops to nothing and I think there's the attack I was waiting for um, let's see let's get these guys up to uh, can we uh, improve those yeah okay I'm gonna I'm gonna forego that that uh, other base it's not really the critical but I need to get over to the copper too, because it's. I'm sure it's. Yeah, it's under attack. So let's go get our train and head on over. Run, little man, run! Get over there. I'm. I'm actually kind of starting to like the laser rifle a little bit more than the flamethrower because the flamethrower, while it's effective, it it kind of takes forever and. You're stuck there waiting for the flames to die out before you can pick up, have the robots pick up all the little artifacts and stuff because you don't want them to get hurt and have to sit there and repair themselves. It ends up taking longer. Yeah, that gold's getting pretty down there. Um, yeah, the, I mean, I, I would say the laser rifle with the gold laser batteries and all the upgrades is not quite as good damage-wise and whatnot as the, as the flamethrower, but it's... I mean, it's fairly close. I think if you concentrate on the nests first and the worms, and then go to um, let's see if I can drop this in manual here. Uh, shoot that guy! All right, that's a manual. That just goes to a stop. Uh, anyway, the, the the laser rifle is pretty close. And the having it be direct damage is kind of a nice uh, change from the, from the damage over time. You can see when my shields recharge, like I suddenly get my uh, exoskeletons kick in and I start moving really fast. Um, so that's just telling me that that uh, I don't have enough power to, to run everything at once, which it would, it would be nice. Uh, I have all this space in here. Uh, I still have room. I mean, I've got four squares, which means I could probably put another fusion reactor in there if I just uh, arrange those things in a, in a better way. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, in some circumstances, I think the lasers are, are, are more effective against especially the elemental uh, nests and stuff. So, in some ways, the, the laser rifle is even better than the, than the flamethrower. Uh, I haven't really tried, I haven't tried the shotgun or the sniper rifle. Those are some of the things I'm going to be um, experimenting with later on when I, when I have the full 
arsenal at my disposal. Oh, these are like some level one, <laughs> level one biters here. Okay, let's take a look at the pollution, pollution cloud. Once I get some more of the stuff out of the way. Oh, I can't research this yet. It's the speed module fives. Okay, so it looks like that's in the pollution cloud. Let's just we'll just circle around. Um, looking at the the time of this episode, uh, it's it might be a little bit long. It might be you know one of the longer ones, but that's all right. I, I'm in the middle of it. I might as well finish where I started. Yeah, that was a. I was getting a little dicey, and the reason why I was getting a little dicey is because I, I have I'm unable to run away. The um, poison clouds have some sort of a slowing effect on you, and when I'm slowed and my shields are down, and so my exoskeletons aren't working, it's sort of a like a double whammy where I can I kind of can't get away. So I got to be careful of that. That was a lot of a lot of those big worms there. Um, all right, here we come to another nest. I think that's a pretty good method of just sort of mixing it up to, to um, take out the nest with the laser rifle and then clean up the the stragglers with the flamethrower because I think the flamethrower it, it feels more effective for sure on the on the biters themselves but the laser rifle feels more effective on the on the nest okay so let's see here will I need to go to the one on the left uh, I might as well I uh, right here all right another nest down this should keep us clear for a while too um, I'm really glad that I chose not to have a, a, a huge amount of biters on the map I would be completely busy all the time just killing them. momentarily looks like we got about two or three more nests to go they go pretty quick this looks like a really easy one yeah that one was like a low level one like some of them I think if you discover them they don't get upgraded but the new ones are all like the high high powered ones that's just a, a anecdotal theory that I have. I don't really know for sure. Okay. I haven't studied the biter ecology that closely. All right. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Die. Okay. Let's take a look, one more look at the map here. Um, this one up here is far enough away, I think, which it shouldn't be a problem. 
I think this is hopefully this is the the maximum extent of the pollution cloud that we're getting from copper too. Copper is a, a high use item. Looks like I'm gonna go up there to the to the northwest and get that whatever this one thing is up here. Uh, it's just a just a worm. But he's got some goodies. Let's get him. All right, let's head back then. Um, keeping an eye on the map here to figure out where the heck I am. Okay, I'm going back to Copper 2. Yeah, uh, anyway, if you guys are interested, uh, pl look forward to Sniper Elite 4, like brand new gameplay. Um, and I'm a lot better at Sniper Elite 4 too. So it's going to be new gameplay and uh, high res high res video. It's 1080p at 60 frames per second. So it's really clear. It's so much better than it was before. Uh, I'm better. The video is better. So, um, you know, take a look if that kind of game interests you. I know Factorio and Sniper Elite 4 are pretty about as far apart as you can get game wise. Uh, Factorio, oh, there's my copper train waiting. Uh, Factorio, you know, is a, is a sort of a, it, it's a more peaceful game. It's, you know, a building game. And I really like, I really like to, to play building games sort of long, long playing sessions. And I do like those first person or third person shooters in much smaller doses. Um, so it, expect to see more Factorio videos and, and to continue in new games that I come across that uh, I have fun playing. But yeah, anyway, uh, I'm just trying to say or promote my Sniper Elite 4 series that, that's about to be um, put up on there. Um, I've, I've been doing a lot of editing on those videos to get everything uh, ship shape. So please take a look if you, uh, if that kind of game, if you're into it. And thanks for watching this one. And we will see you next episode. Alright, thanks everyone. Take it easy.